Our thoughts and prayers remain with his family and the players today. Thank you. Australian cricketer Philip Hughes has died in hospital two days after he was struck on the head by a ball during a domestic match. Governing body Cricket Australia confirmed the 25-year-old had lost his fight for life early this morning. During a press conference earlier, Australia team doctor Peter Bruckner had more details about his injury. Philip took the blow at the side of the neck and as a result of that blow, his vertebral artery, one of the main arteries leading to the brain, was compressed by the ball. That caused the artery to split and, to ble and for bleeding to go up into the brain. And he had a massive bleed into his brain. Philip has been surrounded and Philip's family has been surrounded over the last few days by literally hundreds of people, family, friends, teammates, opponents, members of the cricket family, all of whom have come to pay their respect and to wish him, wish him well. However, there's one person I would like to sorry, pay particular tribute to, and that's our, our Australian captain, Michael Clarke. Philip's always been like a little brother to Michael, and Michael's efforts over the last 48 hours to support the family. The family were obviously going through a difficult time, but I'm not sure they would have coped without Michael's assistance. And I was just enormously impressed at the work that he did and the genuine care and love that he gave to the Hughes family. Hughes, who also played for Hampshire, Middlesex and Worcestershire, was struck by a short pitch ball from Sean Abbott during a Sheffield Shield game against New South Wales on Tuesday. Phillips, teammates and other players are now being offered counselling following his tragic death.